the Republican head of the House Intelligence Committee, continues a campaign to paint NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden as a Russian spy. Speaking to NBC's Meet the Press, Congress member Mike Rogers claimed everyone in the U.S. intelligence community believes Snowden is under the influence of Russian agents. Rogers also attempted to link Snowden to Russia's interference in Ukraine. We know today no counterintelligence official in the United States does not believe that Mr. Snowden, the NSA contractor, is not under the influence of Russian intelligence services. We believe he is. I certainly believe he is today. I do believe there's more to this story. He is under the influence of Russian intelligence officials today. He's actually supporting, in, in an odd way, this, the, this very activity of brazen brutality and expansionism of Russia. He needs to understand that. Uh, and what, I think what, Americans need to understand that. We need to put it in proper context. Congress member Rogers has yet to offer any evidence to back up his claims that Snowden sp spied for Moscow. Snowden remains in Russia after failing to win asylum in several other countries. Former President Jimmy Carter, meanwhile, has revealed he limits his own email use out of fear he's spied on by U.S. intelligence. In an interview with NBC News, President Carter says he avoids emails when corresponding with foreign leaders using old-fashioned snail mail. That has been extremely liberalized and, I think, abused by our own intelligence agencies. As a matter of fact, you know, I have felt that my own uh, communications were probably monitored. And uh, when I want to communicate with a foreign leader privately, I type or write the letter myself, put it in the post office and mail it. Uh, <laughs> Old-fashioned snail mail. Old, yeah, <laughs> because I, I believe if I send an email, it'll, it will be monitored. In the same interview, President Carter said President Obama has never called him to ask for advice. Carter cited as the reason his stance on the Israel-Palestine conflict, where he has called for, quote, equal treatment of Israelis and Palestinians. That, he suggested, has put him at odds with official U.S. policy.